Hey guys, welcome back to Hearthstone. You may remember last time we took down the Avatar of War, Patchwork, and we've moved on to Grobulus. Now, he was probably one of my least favourite bosses, because it kind of took everyone to know what they were doing, which was a real pain, uh, especially in 40 Man. Because uh, you would basically get something put on you, and you'd have to run to the side to drop these circles, which would slowly spread out and start poisoning the raid. And you drop them at the side, because then you've only got to deal with semicircles. But you've got to kite the boss around the room, because he also drops these circles. And he also summons these horrendous slime ads, which are an absolute pain to deal with. He was just generally a bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, it's quite a complex fight in terms of movement and stuff, but uh, let's see what his passive is. So, uh, Poison Cloud. This is interesting, though. Deal one damage to all minions. So this includes his minions. And if any die, summons a slime. Uh, I don't know what kind of stats the slimes are going to have. I guess it can't be too bad. Otherwise, it would tell us. So it's kind of like Noth, but it counts for his own minions. Now, as the Paladin, this isn't going to really do us any favours, because we, uh... Our hero power summons a 1-1, one, one, so this is going to kill it instantly. Give him a slime. So we're going to uh, not use our hero power pretty much at all in this fight, unless we've got a Blessing of Kings. But let's have a crack. Okay, uh, you remember when Patchwork was a bit of an unconventional fight. This one's looking a lot more standard. Uh, Grobulus looks disgusting as ever. And we're going to get rid of the Sunwalker. We're going to keep this uh, and this because we don't know what he has. Removal's always good. I kind of count this as removal uh, since it deals with a big threat. Let's see what he does. Oh, no, it's my turn first, of course. Now let's see what he does. Ooh, okay. This is looking like a rush deck, especially with this. He can trigger, he can attack and trigger his own death rattle to get the other two damage. And it summons a slime. Now I'm interested to see what these slimes, uh, see what these slimes do. <laughs> Equality is good and bad because it will mean that he can't really use this. It will kill his own minions. But if he does, I mean, if we got a full board and I equality, he's going to clear the board and get an army of slimes. But this could work in my favour, because if he fills up his board with slimes and they're only one attack, uh, he won't be able to play any more minions, which could work in my favour. I'm not going to drop a 1-1 because of this. I don't want him to get two slimes. Let's see what he drops. Holy shit. Oh my god. So, that was one of his ability cards, Mutating Injection. Uh, so, he gave a minion plus four, plus four, and taunt. That sort of mimics the big slime that he'd send out every now and then. That had to be off-tanked. Uh, and would also uh, drop a poison cloud, because everything seems to drop a bloody poison cloud in this fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop my fast here, because this is dangerous. I probably should have dropped my Peacekeeper, actually, now I think about it. Jumped into that one a little bit too quick. Hmm, the dancing swords is a is a small problem. I I'm not a fan of the dancing swords. Now I may actually kings this and kill that. Although I'm only gonna survive with one health, which means that he can kill that with that. No, that, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. I'm going to drop the Peacekeeper. Uh, I should have done this in that order last time. I'm going to deal a bit of damage there because we've still got two health. Which means we can't get killed by the Poison Cloud. Okay, so we... This is dangerous with the Poison Cloud. This is also dangerous with the Poison Cloud. Shit, he's got a really strange deck going on. Huh. Hmm. I think we're going to have to consecrate. The problem is that the 4-4 is going to survive because we can't kill it with this. Shit.
Hmm. What to do? <sighs> See, I, re oh, I think the 4-4 might be our best choice, though. Because he's only going to use that and get a load of slimes. I still don't know what they do. Uh, but there is only one way to find out. We're going to Consecrate. We're going to bring out the 4-4. Four, four. Now, you see, I'm tempted to attack him in the face. Because that would survive even if I traded. Let's let him trade into it. we got a Tyrion coming up soon. Okay, this is now a problem. Hmm. Do I have quality here? I think I might. Because this will kill everything. And then, I, uh, yeah, I just need to hold out to Tyrion, I think. So we're going to play the true silver, and we're going to equality, but we're not going to let him do his poison cloud. Now, we're running dangerously low on health, but he's not too far behind. Echoing Ooze. This is an interesting one. Oh, shit. And then that's actually going to mimic the stats, isn't it? Oh my god, we just got served. We just got utterly served. Okay guys, we uh, we got a little bit wrecked last time. Uh, but we're going to dive straight back in. We know what to expect now. Uh, we kind of overestimated his passive. They only come out as 1-2 slimes, I think, or 2-2s. Two They're not too bad. We were trying to play around that quite a lot more than we should have, really. Uh, so, we're still not going to use our hero power. But I think we can do the damage this time. See, I could have actually played a 1-1 one -one to make him use the mana. That would have been interesting. We're going to Peacekeeper this uh, off the bat. Uh, this isn't exactly a nice card to deal with. But it's a very nice card when we kill it. And that's perfect for us, because that's kind of set us up to kill it. So, uh, thanks, Grobulus. See, so he's, a, he's a super nice guy. We're going to True Silver that. And we're going to attack him in the face. This is already going smoother. Uh, we didn't get mutated injection. Oh, no. Come on. Jeez. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. We can, uh, we can deal with this. We've got two Farseers. That's always good news. Now, I may actually kings this to keep it alive. That's not kings. That's kings. We didn't really get to play our kings. We didn't because we want to get our big guys out as soon as possible. We don't want him to overflow the board. So we're actually going to kings up and hopefully trade with a lot of things he can throw at us. Okay, this sucks, uh, but this is going to trade. Oh, he's not going to trade. Well, we can trade with this now, which is awesome. Uh, we could actually... I d I'm not feeling lucky enough to try this. Or am I? No, 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 no. No, not with this 1-2. If it was just that, I'd probably give it a go. But uh, I, I, don't feel, I don't feel good enough to do that. We're, we're actually going to play one of these, and we're going to do that. And we're going to heal. See, this has got, so he's going to have to trade this into this, and then he could hero power, which would kill it. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. We've got stuff to do with the slime now. Yeah, we're already in a much better position. <sighs> okay, this complicates things. This abomination really complicates things. We could have used a silence right now. You see, this only does two damage. What we're going to actually do is we're going to drop a Farseer. And we're going to heal our Protector. And then we're going to Kings this Farseer. 
Because what this allows us to do is... Is... Ah, oh shit. You see, that's going to actually go down to... One health. Which means he can kill it next turn. But that'll, that'll waste two mana for him. Uh, now we can just go for face. He's going to get two slimes out of this, but I think that was okay. I want to see what they are anyway. Oh, he's going to get three slimes out of this. Okay, that was interesting. He could have slammed that and then gotten all the slimes. There are only two twos. Well, apart from this one, which is now 6-6. Six, six. Maybe we do a quality avenging. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. There we go. We got some fat damage on the board. We can Leroy him next turn. Oh. So many taunts. <laughs> oh, we can get through it. Oh, we can't get through it anymore. That sucks. That's a real problem. Damn it. Mmm. Wow. Oh, I really, really, really am annoyed by that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, the amazing thing about Hammer of Wrath, I have played this game for a while, <laughs> is that it's a spell, so you can just do this. <laughs> I nearly missed lethal with my own hammer. There we go, guys. We we uh, we beat Grobulus. A lot of misplays uh, over those last two games. But that's why you're watching. So for that, we got the Mad Scientist. Uh, this is the secret uh, deck card that people have been looking forward to. Because uh, when he dies, you put a random secret from your deck into the battlefield. That soups up quite well with the, the Ethereal, who at the end of the turn, if you control a secret, he gains like plus three, plus three or something, or plus two, plus two. Uh, so basically, you can put him in and run this in someone, you get a free secret. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so that was, uh, that was how to play poorly against Grobulus. Uh, very poorly in some cases. But next up, we've got Gluth. Gluth eats our leftover zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. 